Welcome to the Sunday online service. On behalf of Pastor Chako and the Petra Ministries, we send a warm welcome to each one of you. Deuteronomy 32:13 says, He made him draw honey from the rock and oil from the flinty rock. God wants us to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. It means you have to make the best out of the worst situation. Have confidence that God will bring out something sweet from your hard situation. Numbers 14 verse 8 says, If the Lord delights in us, then He will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. God has good plans for us to bring us out of the wilderness into a land flowing with milk and honey. Honey signifies sweetness, preservation and is the end product of a bee, which means God will give us sweetness in the midst of our challenges. He will preserve us and our family and the end product will be good. Put your trust in the Lord even after going through a process of life. It will still turn out to be a prophet. You will see the favor of God. When you have the experience of milk and honey in your life, make yourself readily available be led by God. As we enter into a time of worship and word, let us ask the Lord to give us strength to be bold even during the challenges of our life. Let us believe that the end product will be like honey. We will be having break your bread. Kindly keep a piece of bread and grape juice ready for the same. Through you I can do anything. I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible through you. Blind eyes are open, strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Oh, put your hands together and worship the Lord. down I know that you're here with me I know that you can do anything to you I can do anything I can do all things cause it's you who gives me strength nothing is impossible to you blind eyes are open Strongholds are broken, I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible to you. I can do anything, I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible to you. Blind eyes are open, strongholds are broken. the Lord of Lords, hallelujah. Oh, nothing is impossible, hallelujah. Oh, won't you lift your voice, hallelujah. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Through you, I can do all things. Through you, I can do all things. I can do all things. God is you who gives me strength. Nothing is impossible to you. Blind eyes are open. Strongholds are broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, how many of you 
believe that nothing is impossible with our God. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible with our God. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says in Jeremiah 32 and 17. Hallelujah. The Lord who made the heaven and the earth by his power and outstretched harm. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for him. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, the same chapter, verse Hallelujah 17 says, Hallelujah, the Lord is asking Jeremiah, is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. Today the Lord is asking you, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Hallelujah. I don't know what you're going through. Hallelujah. I don't know what your situation is. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, nothing is impossible for our God. Hallelujah. And also the word of the Lord says in Hallelujah, Mark chapter 9, Hallelujah, nothing is impossible for those who believe. Hallelujah. Today if you would believe, Hallelujah, nothing is impossible for you hallelujah the situation that you are in hallelujah if you would stretch out your hands in faith and tell the Lord Lord I believe hallelujah nothing is impossible for you hallelujah oh he will move on your behalf hallelujah oh hallelujah I believe, I believe in you I believe I believe in you I believe I believe I believe I believe
Worship the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. We pour out our hearts before you, oh Lord. Oh, we pour out our worship before you, oh Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. That's a sweet smelling aroma, Lord. Oh, we offer our worship to you, oh Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
call upon the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, the name that is given to man, hallelujah, for our salvation, for our redemption. The name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, we call upon the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, every darkness shall tremble, hallelujah. Every darkness shall tremble, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Every demon shall bow down at the name of Jesus. Every sickness shall bow down at the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The sweetest name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he's not given you a spirit of fear, hallelujah. Oh, he's given you a spirit of sonship, hallelujah. Today, he, you can call on his name, hallelujah. He's close to you, hallelujah. Oh, he's close to you, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Take your throne, you're all I need, Lord, you alone, there is no way I can make it without you, Lord, use my life as it pleases you, you are my king, you are my king. condition that you are in today hallelujah oh hallelujah he is all you need he is all you need hallelujah he is all you need hallelujah oh as it pleases you as it pleases you There is 
കരയോളം പോരാ നാലിയൊരു ജീവ നദിയൊഴുക നീന്തിയിട്ടല്ലാതെ കടക്കാൻ മയാത്ത മേലുറവയെന്നു തുറക്കുന്നത് സൈന്യത്താലയല്ല സൈന്യത്താലയല്ല ശക്തിയാലയല്ല ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാ ശക്തിയാലത്തെ സൈന്യത്താലയല്ല
logo un chia vascaro ka o kushi ke ki us ka gun ga everyone together ibadat karo us ki ibadat karo ibadat karo ibadat karo uski ibadat karo ibadat karo uski ibadat karo ibadat karo uski ibadat karo even tonight father we thank you lord that we want to lift up your name the name that is above every other name that the name that is given to us lord or the name of jesus lord every knee will bow every tongue will confess that jesus christ alone is lord to the glory of the father we rejoice in that name lord oh dabara gamana sambhuriya dabalasya thank you for that name lord jesus lord even tonight the name of jesus we lift it up lord hallelujah thank you jesus lord hallelujah not our problem not our name not our status but your name lord taba that's all our desire lord all our heart is to lift up your grace your name to look above habara gaba hastara dara the eyes on to be you lord we take our eyes from everything else lord and look to you jesus lord open our eyes to that, to see you to see your word hallelujah We all the glory and honor tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah! Tonight, Hallelujah. Amen. Another day in the presence of God. Another day to gather together. This is the day that the Lord has made. Bible says, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. God has given us another day to come into your home with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Church, coming home. Hallelujah! With the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah let's open our bible passage tonight to Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 3 Arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people but the lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you the gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising amen one more scripture from numbers chapter 8 verses 2 uh, to 4 we can read it 2 to 4 speak to Aaron and say to him when you arrange the lamps the seven lamps shall give light in front of the lamp stand and Aaron did so he arranged the lamps to face toward the front of the lamp stand as the lord commanded Moses now this workmanship of the lamp stand was hammered gold from its shaft to its flowers it was hammered work according to the pattern which the lord had shown moses so he made the lamp stand amen hallelujah one more scripture tonight revelation chapter 1 and the 20th verse the mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lamp stands the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven lamp stands which you saw are the seven churches amen tonight light is important in our life so tonight our topic is step into the light we heard step into a unknown 
step into the miracles step into fruitfulness tonight step into the light pastor has been teaching us to step into new things and for that light is necessary isaiah 58 and the 8th verse says light shall break forth speedily some of you hallelujah wants the light to break forth speedily you want the light to shine forth as immediately and as early as possible hallelujah some of your days of darkness and uh, hallelujah uh, 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 unknowns are going to ever god is going to give you a light amen certainty blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah glory to god the bible says in psalm 18 the bible says you shall enlighten my lamp so that by that i can jump over the wall only when the light is revealed you can jump over certain walls you can advance against the troop and defeat hallelujah amen so tonight it's about the light step into the light jesus said i am the light hallelujah we need to have a revelation uh, of the light there are seasons of obscurity in our lives but hallelujah tonight from obscurity to the light glory to god blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah so when you read that same passage of scripture the niv version numbers 8 2 to 3 numbers 8 2 to 3 in the niv version speak to aaron and say to him when you set up the lamps see that all seven light up up see that all seven light up ah uh. the area in front of the lamp stand ah uh. and aaron did so he set up the lamps so that they faced the word forward forward ah uh. on the lamp stand uh. just as the lord commanded moses amen so there are two important words that are used the light to be above or the light up the light should be always up hallelujah it should always shine upward and then the bible says the lamps so that they face forward hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord or oh, in the passage of the scripture the seven lamps shall give light in the front of the lamp stand so the light should always be upward and the light should always be forward it is not god's plan that the light should hallelujah shine backward the light is never to look back the light is to show hallelujah future something forward even today when the light is revealed when the christ light shine upon us there is something ahead of us there is something new for us hallelujah we don't need to walk in the stinking hallelujah stories of the past there is something new stories hallelujah when the king is uh, jesus is your king your story has a new meaning a new light to it hallelujah the oldness tonight the every oldness that is so about you about your life about your spirituality leave tonight let there be something new the light is always for forward hallelujah it is not giving direction backwards it is giving direction upward and forward for the children of god when you put take a torch it torch it will always give a direction you're pointing to tonight God's touch the presence of the holy spirit is pointing forward hallelujah praise the lord you need to know that about the holy spirit it's not backward what does it mean it means there's a future ahead of you hallelujah and the secondly the light should follow upward god has not called the church to look always you know what's happened and what's not happened no no we have to have a hope for the future there is goodness ahead of you amen light should not go to your tomorrow light has to go upward and forward hallelujah praise the lord light should first go upward and forward hallelujah glory to god we should not be worry about tomorrow we should ask the lord to show up light amen if the light is there hallelujah it will lead you into the right directions it will lead you into the tomorrows you don't have to worry about your tomorrows hallelujah what we need is the light everybody say important thing is the light amen hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord glory to god many people today have no light to go upward and forward they will look to the past mistakes of what has happened in their old life old relationships mistakes that they've done it's always there somewhere you know i like the message translation of romans 8 to 1 it says the case is closed hallelujah usually it says there is no 
condemnation to those who are in crises. But the message translation says, the case is closed. Hallelujah. Some of the cases that has been bothering you are closed tonight. Because the Bible says the case is closed to those who have a life union with Christ Jesus. You don't need to keep looking at the cases that once you were involved. Amen. Hallelujah. Some people are always, conversations are, you know, always of the past. The servants of God, you know, one of the things is, you know, they're, the, you know, you know, so even sometimes speaking about the servants of God, they say the olden days, you know, we had, you know, caliber. I mean, we had caliber in the olden days. Today, servants of God is not up to the mark. I mean, those kind of usages have to, everything we are looking back. Like the people, uh, when the new temple was built, Solomon's temple was better. They could not understand, hallelujah, God's new revival. Come on, church tonight. The light is showing into new revivals. Hallelujah. Message is the same. Methods might change, but it's the hallelujah. New revival. Amen. In the coming days, you know, we are also coming with different methods to reach out to the kingdom of God, to the glory of God. Don't be surprised. Amen. Hallelujah. Instead of criticizing, use it. Hallelujah. People who have light never criticize. Critical people are people who don't have light. Look at somebody and say, critical people are people who don't have light. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you bring Israelites out of Egypt, Hallelujah. They were very critical. You know why? Because their torch was always backward. The lemons and the melon, melon, melons and the cucumber and all those things. They were always looking back. They could never see. That's why they were complaining and murmuring. And like pastor said, what worship is to God is complaining to the devil. If worship brings uh, the presence of God, complaining brings the presence of the devil. Amen. That's why I think Psalmist said, put a <laughs> plaster on my mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today morning I was saying, Lord, please put a plaster. You know, I don't want to utter one word that is not in line with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want the worship always. I want the presence, the tangible glory of God always around me. Hallelujah. And one of the things is you need to move forward and stop speaking the things of the past. When Jesus started to preach, he taught the disciples, our Father who art in heaven. So not only Jesus preaching, he told to look forward, but says, Father in heaven, upward. His prayer was always upward. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Hallelujah. Your kingdom come. When you keep your, you know, treasures, when you're only focused on the treasures on earth, you should, you know, it says rust and moth can eat it away. But you should lay up your treasures in heaven. He asked us to look up. If you're only bothered about things on the earth, it's all going to go. Your treasures should be, everything that you have should have a direction towards heaven. For the glory of God. That's why it says for the glory. Everybody say for the glory. But actually, <laughs> but the, usually the glory is for us. Amen. Hallelujah. When Paul was preaching, he said, set your mind on things above. Since you are seated with Christ Jesus, set your mind on things above. To God, the Father. Paul was preaching about heaven and eternity. Hallelujah. Today, many people lose their perspective. Because they are looking backward. They don't have a perspective and a perspective of eternity. Perspective to look upward. Even some of the worship songs that, you know, have come. It's mainly focusing on things below, not things above. Hallelujah. You know, it is said that the only time, you know, only people who look above before they die are pigs. I think, I don't think we don't want to be in that category. You know, the pigs only time, you know, when they're going to die, they are like, a, uh, they are tied up on the, you know, bonfire and they look up. You know what I'm saying? Some people only look up just after they die. They're planning and, and, and somebody will say, oh, they're going to a better place. What a lie. <laughs> if you don't know Jesus while you're living here on earth and if you have not given your life to Jesus while you're on earth and when you're saying to say, oh, what a better place. What a lie. What better place? Hell is not a better place. And without Jesus, you're going to hell. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is said that in 532 times in the Bible, heaven is mentioned. Heaven is mentioned. Today, while people are living on earth, seldom do they think about eternity and heaven and things like that. Even an unbeliever, after he dies, the, somebody will come and say, he's going to a better place. Are they? Hallelujah. Praise God. Only if you live in Christ, the Bible says in Revelation 13, only if you're born in Christ and only if you live in Christ, you can die in Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, blessed is the man who is dead in Christ. If somebody has to be dead in Christ, he has to first be born in Christ, born again. And then he has to live in Christ. Hallelujah. And then he has to die in Christ. Live in Christ means you cannot say, I'm born again, and then do your own stuff, your own life. And completely opposite to God's Bible and say, I know, I'm born again. Hallelujah. So when you look upwards, there are teeth types of heaven that is according to the Bible it is spoken. Number one, the heaven that we see is the, uh, you know, the heaven atmosphere that, that usually we say in Genesis chapter 1 was in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. You know, uh, uh, it is not singular. It says heavens, you know, first. So there is first heaven, second heaven, third heaven. There are people who believe in more than three heavens, but Bible speaks only about three heavens. But first is the atmosphere. And then there is second is an invisible heaven. That is the heaven where the devil is ruling. The Ephesians 2 1 says, The spirit that is in the air above, he uh, uh, stole authority uh, from Adam and made a headquarters in the second heavens. Uh, that is where Jesus Christ died. He took the captivity captive. He broke the power of that heavens. For a child of God, the second heavens does not have power over his life. When you pray, hallelujah, you, are, you believe in the open heavens. Uh, the second heaven cannot block a child of God. Hallelujah. It's called the, that's why Ephesians 2, 2 says he's called the prince of darkness over the air above. There's a realm of atmosphere where the power of darkness reside. That is also called heaven. Hallelujah. So there is angels and fallen angels residing. Hallelujah. Where principalities and powers. But when you look up, you don't see that. You will only see crows and birds and flying above. But there is a second heaven. And 2 Corinthians 12, Paul said, I know a man who has gone to the third heavens. Bible scholars believe it's Paul. Where Jesus Christ is seated, where the presence of God is real, where the angels of God are around the throne of the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's where Jesus is seated. It's called the better place, the better city. The Bible says, whose architect and founder is God himself. Wow. How many of you want to go there? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you look upwards, it's a future home. Jesus said in John 14, Then not your hearts be troubled. Trust in me. Trust in the Father. For I am going up and I come back. Why am I going up? I'm preparing mansions for you. And I will come down and take you there. So that is our destination. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can take us there. He said, I will take you there. You cannot go there. He has to take you there. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You might be going through a boarding school. Hallelujah. But C.S. Lewis said, it is people who have the perspective of heaven eternity have done maximum on earth. Hallelujah. Only if you have that kind of a hope that you are going one day going to stand, you want to do maximum for the Lord on earth. Pastor other said, he said, when he was touching 50, he said, I don't want to waste one more time. I'm looking what I can learn more, how I can reach out to somebody. I, no, I don't want to waste one more time. When you know that Jesus is coming, there's an urgency inside. Come on, church, tonight. The urgency to pray, urgency to pray in tongues, urgency to declare the word, urgency to pray for the unloved, uh, I mean, uh, 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 the unsaved loved ones. There's an urgency. There is a prayer. I mean, nobody has to force you. Nobody has to teach you. I mean, it just, it just start that burden start becoming real because you know that God, the Lord is standing at the door. You're feeling a door. Come on. Somebody who has got, you know, I'm saying, <laughs> you know, have a vision and the, a glimpse of the eternity. Does not have time to fight. Does not have time to, you know, do same pinch and you know, ouch, to pin somebody else. And, you know, you don't have time for all that. You have only time to forgive and to prepare for heaven. Hallelujah. You don't have time to, you know, in Malayalam, we say, 
മുഖം വീർപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കാൻ സമയമില്ല ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് വീസ് എ ബിഗ് ഫേസ് യു ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ടൈം ഫോർ ബിഗ് ഫേസസ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈ ടു ട്രൈ ടു റൈറ്റ് എ ബുക്ക് ഓൺ യുവർ ഈഗോ ആൻഡ് യു ആർ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഫാമിലി ഈഗോ ആൻഡ് നോ 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 it is only time one word god resists the proud give grace to the humble when you have time when you know about eternity you humble yourself and under the mighty hand of god because it is only god who can lift you up so you have to understand hallelujah jesus is says let not your hearts be troubled believe in the father you know i'm saying do not let your hearts be troubled about what is he speaking not about your visa or your child going to a, 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 a international school i mean those are the things he is saying he is saying do not let your hearts be troubled for i am going to the father and i am preparing a home for you in this context he said i'll come back to take the place i am so he is saying in this kind of times where you are living hallelujah let not your hearts be troubled know that i am preparing something for you let your eyes be on that oh thaba dagama so you know i'm saying sometimes uh, we are too anxious and too worried and all that you know what i'm saying if it is about heaven it's fine i mean the lord says hope is there but we are too bothered about the things of the earth that we forget i am not saying that the lord wouldn't do it we always preach about that but our focus our destination is in heaven eternity hallelujah how many of you will say lord give us the light upward give us a perspective of eternity Amen so I can live a life on earth well as good and faithful servant disciples came to the lord and said we commanded the demons and the demons left wow i mean the way they screamed the way they left you know we have the deliverance gift and jesus said do not rejoice over that children rejoice that your names are written in heaven that's more important so even more important than ministry is the fact that hallelujah your eyes is upward your names are registered in heaven ministry is good but eternity is even greater than ministry that's what he's saying hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah sometimes the way we live you know we think that in heaven and eternity there's absolutely nothing there i mean people don't even have a uh uh excitement when you speak about heaven if i would have says mim shack and sh- <laughs> rayon uh, ratsan anointing and uh, ratsan anointing and everybody when <laughs> eternity and all everybody is very very i say very very silently this this is you should be more excited come on church tonight hallelujah open your mouth and say what a joy what a place hallelujah is prepared hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great the war how great the war then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great the war how great the war amen sometimes you know you have invested in stock exchange you will get up and you know even in your sleep to check whether the prices have gone up or not you know i mean if you have invested in one of those you'll know but if you have uh, sold your investment you know you're not going to get up at 3 in the morning <laughs> when there is no investment you don't go up 3 in the morning and going to check up whether the stock price has gone up or down some people the reason why they are not going looking upward and into heaven is because you're not invested in anything there's no reason to look up hallelujah only if you have invested hallelujah upwards then you look up you see what's happening when is jesus coming wow old day saints have invested so much upwards that's why they're always getting up thinking about preparing for heaven hallelujah today let the light reveal about eternity light is upward and forward hallelujah so many people when they escaped afghan i mean from trying to escape from afghanistan in their uh, 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 
difficulty then the even people are trying to catch hold of the uh, wings of the plane you know somehow to fly out of afghanistan <laughs> because they're looking say i just want to leave this place into a better place to a better country the way we are living is <laughs> <laughs> when the plane is jesus is coming i mean we don't we are trying to see how to stay back on earth <laughs> the way some of us are living we don't want to die we think we'll never die i mean there's no problem living as long as you're useful for the kingdom of god hallelujah if you're living for long hallelujah good but be useful for the kingdom to serve the lord you need to have a boldness and confidence inside of you hallelujah my home is heaven with jesus and while he's staring i should be able to do the maximum for the lord every opportunity to speak to the word of god every opportunity hallelujah to pray every opportunity to share have to discern what god wants me to do hallelujah that's called the present hope that jesus will come back in heaven that's what paul said in ephesians 3 our citizenship is not here on earth it's in heaven we are just passing through a phase here hallelujah praise god if you don't understand that all this prayers and receiving jesus and worshiping and ministering hallelujah will not be anything than just having some you know fun like in a club you have some fun in the church and it is a you know hallelujah perspective a hope is built on this fact that's why hope that's what the hope has it's called the energetic hope in the bible this is what gives you the energy my god he's coming back wow sometimes you know believers are even i mean people are trying to build a, uh even even planes to outer space aircrafts to outer space a believer need not have to you know even if you don't get into one of those you know richard branson uh outer space craft it doesn't matter because anyway when jesus takes us we are going to go through all that we're going to see all those things hallelujah praise god so don't worry about her richard branson and his aircraft hallelujah worry about your eternity worry about that we're preparing for eternity because when jesus takes you you're going to see all that and go into the third heavens and be with jesus forever and ever and ever Hallelujah if you have that hope lift your hands and say thank you Jesus oh pray in the holy ghost for some time let become real tonight thabare gadaga udamala gadaga vas taradala jurambal karadala bala sambaradala oh dhibala gadaga bala sambhoriyadala amen hallelujah when you see Jesus coming back you don't need a pay ticket or money or dollars to go there the only the blood of Jesus is your ticket hallelujah thank you jesus so first thing is to go upward and the second aspect is what we read when you light a lamp put it forward in the front in proverbs chapter 31 the bible says the virtuous virtuous woman speaking about the church in the broader sense has no fear about the future come on you don't have to fear the future because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone all fear is gone because i know because i know yes i know he holds my future oh life is worth a living just because he lived because he lived because he lived oh i can face the fall oh yeah because he lived because he lived all fear is gone your fear is gone because i know yes i know Because he lives, life is worth the living just 
because he oh put your hands together give a clap offering to Jesus is worth the living because he lives I live hallelujah amen. glory to God amen hallelujah open your Bibles tonight to once again Isaiah 43 18 and 19 the scripture that we know but let's read it together tonight do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. If you're going to look at the old things, the Lord is saying, if you don't forget it, you will miss out on the new things. It's always, it's forward. That's why the psalmist said, even if I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm not fear. I look forward because shepherd is ahead. He's forward. I'm looking, I'm looking where is the shepherd. He's forward. If you're looking for Jesus, he's not behind. He's ahead. He's forward. Oh, come on church. That revelation itself will get you out of the valley tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. God is giving new beginnings. As you listen to this word, might be October. Ask the Lord, let it be a month of new beginnings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For you, some of you, 2021 end is going to be the new beginning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is going to give streams in the desert. He's going to miraculously open ways. Hallelujah. In the midst of the sea. The other day, you know, one of the uh, best news, you know, why I was yesterday, you know, they'll come and testify in one of these days. You know, somebody was praying for two years. Hallelujah. Two, almost two and three years, you know, to, to get a job and you know, the Lord yesterday miraculously opened. Now they said, they don't have time to breathe now. So much of work. So many doors. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, you know, they, know, they said, Pastor, we don't have time to do anything now. I mean, so much of work. Even I've asked my wife also to get in and help me. Because so much of work. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why I told you, some of you, month of October. Hallelujah. Come on. It's going to be a new beginning. New open doors. Hallelujah. There is so much happening. Blessing on this side. Blessing on the other. Your heads will swim. I'm almost 9, 8 and said hallelujah praise the lord one after another come on open your mouth one after another one miracle one breakthrough one testimony after another testimony may it be your portion and declare it and decree it over your life tonight if you believe it put your hands together and take it in your heart tonight victory by the blood of jesus tonight Hallelujah. Don't postmortem. Some people are doing a postmortem of the old things. Might be family problems, personal problems. Enemy wants you to look back. God is a God of new things. If you keep looking back and postmortem, the you know, pastor told me something I told the other day also. If certain thoughts are not going to build up, don't think about it. And most of the times, 100% of the time, things that you are trying to look back are things that will never build you up. It's only going to bring one stronghold, one argument, one thought in your mind. Tonight, every thought, every argument that rises against the knowledge of God be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! The knowledge of God is about forward, forgetting what lies behind, looking ahead, Paul said. He knew God. He's a man who knew God and he said, I want to look, I don't want to look behind one time the Bible says some people gave him a basket for him to escape I mean he could have looked at who are these guys who helped me I mean, said some of the people who tried thought will help me no did not help me I mean the, the one of the versions says the other people <laughs> I was reading that tonight it says the other people <laughs> put the basket so the real people who he thought did not help him <laughs> these other people <laughs> We never expected help him to escape through the basket. So he could have said, oh my God, these guys, you know what I'm saying? If he would have kept looking at those guys, he would have never had the revelation to go into the third heavens. He would have never revelation, hallelujah, of all those things that he had from the book of the Bible. He would have never understand what grace was all about, the unmerited favor was all about. But if he let go, oh, come on church tonight. Oh, Blessed be the name of Jesus. That's what Joseph named his child Manessa and Ephraim. Manessa means God help me to forget what is behind. 
in a simple worship he helped me to forget he has made me to forget my toil only if god you i love god to cause you can never for you can forgive you cannot forget only god can cause you to forget hallelujah amen so he says god has made me forget the toil in my father's house so after that manesa came double fruitfulness come on you want anything double you have to forget hallelujah amen hallelujah glory to god blessed be the name of jesus hallelujah thank you jesus look at daniel chapter 6 and verse 2 and 3 and over these three governors of whom daniel was one that the satraps might give account to them so that the king would suffer no loss then da- this daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to set setting him over the whole realm open your mouth and say do something new in my life lord what do you sing that song do do something new in my life we want to guide to there something new in my life do something new chapter 6 verse 2 3 says the king gave a thought to setting him over the whole realm the king thought to set him the king was going to do something new for king daniel he came in the king's thoughts when god is about to do something new you come in king's thoughts you come in the king of king's thoughts you come in king's thoughts you come in hallelujah people who are relevant you come in the thoughts because god has decided to do something new for you tonight hallelujah glory to god the bible says the governors and the straps you know straps conspired against daniel the straps conspired against daniel they were trying to see what fault that we can find tonight let me tell you when the lord is upon your life nobody can find a fault with you they were trying to look at something the enemy came to you know i'm saying when god is trying to make something do something big for you the enemy always will try to see how to spoil it he's a spoiler one of the worst worst for the devil in the bible is a spoiler he's trying to spoil his your your original plan and pray purpose is trying to break what the lord is trying to do for you but tonight when the light shines what god has intended the king's thoughts god's plan will be revealed hallelujah 
enemy will be in darkness in uh, Psalms, uh, uh, Exodus 14 the Bible says the cloud came upon the Israelites and there was light in their camp but darkness in the enemy's camp tonight a shift is happening tonight the enemy is going to be blindfolded come on the enemy's clue about your life is going to be destroyed the enemy will be hallelujah praise God a spirit of blindness upon the enemy tonight I declare a spirit of blindness over the enemy tonight oh may the light of God's glory tonight shine upon your church upon the people upon your family upon your business your work your future tonight in the name of the Lord we give you praise hallelujah amen sometimes when God is thinking good about the enemy somewhere smell something coming we have to rebuke the strategy of the enemy when some, I've learned you know something you know you know burn my fingers and learn it says when something good is about to happen don't tell it to any everyone <laughs> tell it to people who really cares for you who really pray for you hallelujah look at elijah elijah said i cannot move forward anymore there is a challenge coming from jezebel what is the jezebel spirit a jezebel spirit is any spirit Amen. It can be lost, it can be controlled, but mainly the purpose of a Jezebel spirit is control from you moving forward. Hallelujah. Tonight, let those spirit be broken over your life in the name of Jesus. It can be form of addiction. Hallelujah. Some kind of spirit, but it's to break. Some of you, the Lord is releasing you tonight. You can step into the marriage. You're not able to move in stick to your marriage tonight. I pray the month of October, many marriages are going to take place in the name of Jesus. That which is controlling your heart, your mind, your thoughts, your eyes, your bodies. Be broken in the name of Jesus from moving forward. May the desire rise forth to be settled in the settlement of God. Oh baby, favor for settlement be released tonight. In the name of Jesus. Victory by the blood of Jesus tonight. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says the angel woke him up and gave him food and asked him to run. The Lord spoke to him in 1 Kings 19. God told him to anoint three people. Jehu, Hazel, Elijah. He was the one who asked to put down Jezebel. Jehu, Hazel was the one who was anointed of Assyria. And Elijah was the one who was anointed as prophet. Elijah had the anoint to three, anoint three people. Pastor said, God has given you thrice than what you think you have. Or number one, Number two, you are thrice strong. You are three times stronger than you think you are. Come on. Hallelujah. The struggles of what you are going through make you think less. But you are actually three times stronger. Open your mouth and say, I'm three times stronger. Hallelujah. Than I think I am. Hallelujah. No, let it, there is inside of you tonight. Let it, hallelujah. Come forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, this is another way of saying, I've given you enough oil. Not only handle the problem, woman, hallelujah, but also to release anointing over three people, three issues, three revivals. These three people were instrumented for three revivals. Oh, some of you, hallelujah, before Jesus comes, be a part of at least three revivals. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I decree over Petra Church tonight. Let Petra Church be at least part of three revivals before Jesus comes. I decree it over your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't have to be afraid of the future. There is something that you are carrying, Petra Church, that is extraordinary. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and say, Petra Church is an extraordinary church. Ah, praise God. God has imparted something. Every challenge that is standing against your life, whether it's sickness or bondage or demons, hallelujah, God has given you something very powerful inside to overcome that. Tonight, may that be revealed. When the light shines, hallelujah, your giftings will be revealed. Hallelujah. We think we might sit in depression. We might think we might end up in depression. What will my life be in this Corona age? That's all that we are going through. But God is saying, come on, rise up, get up. You are three times stronger than you think. Serve me. Hallelujah. Come on, run. He says, run. Oh, hallelujah. 
In John chapter 6, Jesus asked the question to disciples to test him. Do you have anything for these people? God has already kept for them, the Bible says. In John 6, God has already kept for them, but he asked the question to test them. Tonight, let me tell you, do not worry. Move forward. There is already kept what is yours. The marriages, the provisions, hallelujah, for Chaco and Dipti and Joseph and Abraham and Liza has already been kept. You don't have to worry. Open your mouth and declare your name, your family name and say, God has already kept for what is belonging to me, for what is Petra Church in the city. God has already kept it. It will be going to be revealed as you're listening to this word. It's going to be unfold. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But he's asking you to test your faith. What am I trying to say? Why do I come to that passage of scripture? There are 5,000 men sitting and God is telling 12 men to make them sit. 5,000 men and then children are, women are more and God is telling 12 people to make them sit. Let's speak about leadership. You make 5,000 people sit in their place in the wilderness after three days. Wow, that takes leadership qualities. What am I trying to tell you? Somebody is listening to me. There is a leadership quality in you that you don't know that you have. Come on. Let it be. Come out in the name of the Lord. Let the leaders, the leadership quality anointings, hallelujah, be revealed tonight inside. The, let the leaders rise tonight in the name of the Lord. Let the leadership quality come upon you and be upon you and express through your life. Anointing is to express. Open your mouth and say, anointing is to express. Tonight, may the leadership anointing be expressed. God, Rabbi Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is saying you have a capacity. I pray every day. You know, I pray over myself and my family. The church, I said, Lord, give us the capacity. And there is a scripture, I think in Psalm 190, enlarge my heart. Or in Psalm 18, enlarge my heart that I will run in the course of your commandments. Enlarge my heart. Enlarge my heart. Enlarge my capacity. Isaiah 54 1 says, enlarge your tent. Enlarge your capacity. Bible says Jesus grew in stature. He was enlarged in stature, in capacity. Come on church tonight. God wants you to move in a greater capacity, greater quality beyond yourself. That's a leader who thinks beyond yourself. Leadership qualities. Hallelujah. Are you with me church tonight? Even the unruliest person was made to sit. Hallelujah. To take him to his miracle. Come on. Even the unruliest people will be made to sit when the leadership quality comes to take him to the miracle. Let that kind of miracle happen in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Extraordinary. Go forward and obey the Lord and you will see extraordinary anointings showing forth. The small boy's food was, you know, I like what pastor said. He said, the small boy's food you know, usually, you know, 12, 12 baskets, when Jesus increased, multiplied, there was a leftover of 12 baskets. Usually we believe it's, it was given for 12, 12, you know, the, the, for the one who has brought that five loaves, the 12 baskets were asked, Jesus, disciples were asked to carry the 12 baskets to his houses. Usually what people say, pastor said, other day he was thinking and he thought, maybe, you know, just to get this doubt of this uh, disciples, God gave them one, one basket each and they, they later you hear them, uh, going into the ship and the ship is sinking <laughs> in in the book of Matthew. Maybe they are <laughs> they were carrying twelve baskets full of fish. I mean bread and fish, and maybe that would have been the cause of you know the boat sinking. Hallelujah! Go forward, and you will see leadership qualities. Go upward and go forward. In Luke chapter 15, there's a portion in which we know the shepherd leaves the hundred sheep and in the wilderness and you know when in the shepherd out of hundred when he loses one, the Bible says he leaves the 99 in the wilderness go after one. I mean it's very difficult to leave 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost but that's the heart of shepherd. And why is he going after that one? In Isaiah 9, 6 it says, Hallelujah. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. 
So he says, when the 99, he leaves and when he goes after the one which is lost, he found the one and put it on his shoulders and come back. Now in Isaiah 9, it's saying, the one who is on the shoulder is the government, is the leader. So the actually one who was lost among the 99 was the leader. The one who was supposed to lead the 99. That's why Jesus went after that one. Because he knows if he finds that one, he, he will take care of the 99. What am I tell you tonight? Somebody who is depressed, somebody who is backslidden is the leader inside of you. If hallelujah, the Lord finds you tonight, he is putting on your shoulders and bringing you back because there is a quality, a leadership quality to lead another church, another 99 behind you. Come on church. Hallelujah. Let there be castles and different churches in different parts of the world. Rise up tonight. May you be found to do hallelujah. Built up churches across the nations of the world. That's the why reason Jesus is coming after you because at every church Jesus is saying at least should be 100. That's why it says 100 sheep. Hallelujah. Tonight I pray God will make build up churches across the nations. God will raise up lordly leadership in the city but across the nations to raise up churches. Oh Rabba Kara Shikara. That's why you have to say I'm not a goat but a sheep. Look at two people and say I'm not a goat but a sheep. In the New Testament in John chapter 19 on the cross. Jesus cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani. My father, my father, why have you forsaken me? Then he looked at his mother and said, Mother, this is your son. He looked at John the apostle and said, Mother, this is your son. Son, John, this is your mother. Why did he leave his father and his mother? Because the Bible says, only if a man leaves his father and mother can be united to his wife. The church. Jesus wanted to be united to his church. So he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? He had to leave his father. And he has to leave his mother, who a heavenly father, an earthly mother. Why? To be united to you and me. Oh, come on church tonight. Hallelujah. He got separated from the father, from the mother. And so that... Hallelujah. He can, you and I can be the bride of Christ and we can be united to us, the sheep. Hallelujah. The shepherd can come to the sheep. The bride can come. Bridegroom can come to the bridegroom. Bride. You are the bride of Christ. Open your mouth and say, I'm the bride of Christ. Calvary was not just a, a redemption of our sin. That's the most important thing happened. But it was also a place of a wedding ceremony. He left his father and mother. He was joined to the church. He gave birth to a church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has, you know, don't, you are not a non-entity. God has purpose over your life tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have an entity. You're the bride of Christ. God has a purpose over your life. There is a future ahead of you. That's why the Bible says, the virtuous woman looks at the future and is not afraid. It's a future. We are the bride of Christ. We are the virtuous woman. It was redeemed, not by gold or silver, but with the precious blood of Jesus. That's why pastor said, he said, you are too important to be important. Amen. Open your mouth and say, I'm too important to be important because I'm the bride of Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you don't understand that, you will, become, you will be a part-time Christian. And pastor again said, you cannot be a part-time Christian and defeat a full-time devil. <laughs> Look at two, three people. If no two, three people are there, if you are now listening to a car, look at the mirror and say, you cannot be a part-time Christian and defeat the full-time devil. You have to be the bride of Christ. You should know that. It is in that relationship you will see victory is future revealed. Amen. Bible says Jesus compelled, insisted the disciples to go to the other side. You know why? Otherwise, Peter would have never walked on water. It is because of the insistence of Jesus that we went to the other side. They called, Jesus called up everyone, come out. Only Peter had the faith to step out of the boat. He compelled. Paul said, I was compelled to preach the gospel. What to me if I don't preach the gospel? Nurbendam. The Malayalati Nurbendam comes from a bendam. That compulsion comes from a relationship. 
Only if you know you are the bride of Christ, you will feel the compulsion. You might have hundred things happening around you. When I am preaching to you, there are many things happening around me. There are many phone calls. I have switched my phone because I am compelled to give you this word. Jeremiah said, the word of God is shut up in my bones. I try not to mention it, but it's shut up in my bones. I cannot keep it anymore. I have to bring it out. Come on church tonight. In the morning, I was worshipping the Lord. There was one song coming. It was coming from inside of me. Hallelujah. I don't know it's a song, but for me it (laughs) sounded like a song. It, it went out something like that. There was a fourth man in the fire. There was a fourth man in your fire. The tune in the morning was different though. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's a good line to start a song. Amen. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and there's a fourth man in the fire. If you are the bride of Christ, hallelujah, there is a fourth man in the fire. Amen. You are not alone. Hallelujah. You will never, God is telling somebody, you will never again find a time in your life whether you will feel alone. Amen. You will always find the fourth man. Though I walk through the valley, hallelujah. Though I walk through the waters, though I walk through the fire, I shall not be alone. I shall find somebody there. Come on church tonight. May every spirit of loneliness be broken in the name of the Lord. Come out. Step out of your loneliness this morning. Morning. There is a fourth man in the fire. Hallelujah. Compulsion. Hallelujah. You might have got tired in the middle, but there is a water breakthrough coming. Water walking breakthrough. Open your mouth and say, Water walking breakthrough is mine tonight in the name of Jesus. If you have taken that compulsion, you are not, hallelujah, you are going to walk, hallelujah. Praise God, just like Jesus walked. Amen. In other words, Jesus was saying, I walked as God, but you are going to walk as a human. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that same God is living inside tonight. Hallelujah. Ministry is always revealed when you understand compulsion. Ministry is not for fun. It's not of compulsion. It's not for status. Hallelujah. We'll finish this tonight by the last scripture that we read in the beginning. One more scripture. Revelation, Leviticus 24, 1 to 4. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Command the children of Israel that they bring to you pure oil of pressed olives for the light, to make the lamps burn continually. Outside the veil of the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting, Aaron shall be in charge of it from evening until morning, before the Lord continually. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. He shall be in charge of the lamps on the pure gold lampstand before the Lord continually. Amen. Three times the word is used continually. Continually. Lamps continually. Continually, oil lamps are burned continually. The light is upward and forward continually. Hallelujah. When you light the torches, or, or you know, uh, sometimes you know, we look like this <laughs> the normal torch. When the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, it was not like this. It was, hallelujah. It was looking forward. Hallelujah. It is always the light is forward. Amen. And upward. They use pressed olive oil, the Bible says. Tonight while you are listening, some pressing in is going to come. Amen. In our lives for what? To shine forth. Numbers 8.4 says, Now this workmanship of the lampstand was hammered gold from its shaft to its flowers. It was hammered work according to the pattern which the Lord had shown Moses. So so he made the lampstand. He says, hammered. Everybody say hammered. Some of us need to be hammered. (laughs) It was made up of gold, but hammered gold. For light to come, sometimes God has to hammer us. The more we are hammered, the more light will come. Just imagine I take this mic and hit on Georgie. (laughs) When you are hammered, hallelujah! (laughs) Praise the Lord. The hallelujah will which have so much of power. 
nobody has to put alarm the knees will come down in sleep <laughs> alarm does not have to come the knees will hit the ground when you are hammered <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> ഹാമർഡ് <laughs> till you flower if you are still on the side that means some more <laughs> expect some more beatings praise the lord sometimes as a shepherd god uses sometimes you know people say pastor uh, god way it let him hammer me hammer me hammer me you pray but when god uses the shepherd to hammer you you get hurt you don't know what all i've gone through because of pastor said this in years i've gone through yes if you're going to look backwards you will never shine it you needed to be hammered for the light to shine forth for the gold to come i needed to be hammered i still go under and get hammered <laughs> hallelujah tabara kratra adarandara holy then you will have some compulsions coming alexander the coppersmith that's done so many things against paul but paul said i had to i needed that alexander the copper smith only the gold smith out of me for the gold to come out i needed alexander the copper smith <laughs> come on church tonight thank god for your alexanders if it was not for your alexanders the paul would not have gone out with such revelations come on hallelujah god has some people ready for you you know not for massage but to hammer you i am saying in massage message won't come in hammer message will come you know what i'm saying some people always want to be massaged in the church oh if there is nobody like you are <laughs> you you cute pai <laughs> i can say that but no light will come hallelujah some of you are not not very amused looking <laughs> praise god it's okay I am not preaching for anybody's amusement. <laughs> you go to Gold Coast for amusement parks. Amen. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I want my ministry to be revealed tonight. I want to bloom. I want to flower out. Hallelujah. Thank God for certain experience like this. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Where will the oil come for light? The Bible says, arise that's what the scripture we read arise get ready to shine for god has kept people to pour oil on your life arise shine but how does that happen you don't have to go search in oil god has kept people but are you ready to f- move forward that's a question are you ready to move forward hallelujah Numbers 4 9. Can we read it please? From day he shall take a blue cloth and cover the lampstand of the light with its lamps, its wick trimmers, its trays and all its oil vessels with which they service it. Amen. After burning for a long time, only the smoke is coming. So there are wick trimmers. It will be trimmed. God needs to trim you for you to produce fresh otherwise only smoke i've been in the lord for so many years <laughs> you need to wick trimmers otherwise light is not coming there are some believers only smoke is there but are you ready to shine god has kept ministers of the gospel pastors to trim are you ready to be trimmed the moments you know sometimes people you try to trim people people want to just to leave they leave church they leave nation they leave country they leave you they don't want to me <laughs> come on church how short sighted can you be how dull you can become 
Ask the Lord to trim you tonight. Let your eyes be on upward and forward. Hallelujah. Sometimes you have to think that's a wrong relationship. That's a wrong decision. That's a wrong choice. To drink. It's a wrong talk. Boom. Hallelujah. It's a Holy Spirit anger. Sometimes you come. You have to trim it. There are weak trimmers. Hallelujah. Not only when corrections and discipleship comes, you will shine properly. That's what sometimes the church is missing. This Corona days because you know, you're not seeing people enough. And when they see you, people, when they see them on front, oh my God. You will find like, to make a song on Psalm 91. <laughs> David sinned. He became a burned wick. Nathan has to come and trim him. Hey guy, hey, you are the king, I know that. I am lower than your prophet, but hallelujah, God has sent me to correct you. I'm the prophet God has placed above you to correct you. Don't sit like a big fellow there. You have to be trimmed. Look at somebody and say, there are no big fellows in the Christian life. Amen. Hallelujah. There are no big fellows in the Christian life. <laughs> Amen. In Philippians 1.21, Paul was telling, when he was in prison, people were taking advantage of it. They were rejoicing. He was still going through a trimming. Some people are waiting for you to get, you know, into difficulty to rejoice. That is also beating. In the process, I've seen people when I see a personal testimony, they're not very happy. I can see it on their face, trying to hide it. But I'll say, just, my, it's okay. It's my beating. For my oil to come out. <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, you minister people over years, you you will know what is who is who and what is what. But you, it's okay. My beating. Hallelujah. There are people who are troubling to compete with them. Also, some people are out of personal ambitions. Their ambition, not because they want to become pastors, start a new church, all that. Not out of because they love Christ. It's okay. As long as Christ is preached. Do it. That's enough. Don't get discouraged. It can be in your business. Business which is supposed to fruitful and shine forth and you feel like beaten up. But remember, you are precious. Hallelujah. Till you start flowering. Hallelujah. You'll start beaten up. You feel like in the bottom. There might be seasons if you belittle you, people not take any value to you. But when you start flowering, nobody can stop you. That's what the Spirit of God says. When you start becoming fruitfulness, hallelujah, your fruitfulness will be the answer to your critics. Amen. Let's close our eyes tonight in prayer. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have not still bloomed, you are still work in progress. The Lord is hammering till Christ is revealed in you. Tonight, hallelujah. Oh, let your, let your light of God shine upon you. Open your mouth and say, I will arise. And, and shine for the shine. glory of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Open your mouth tonight and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I believe, I believe you, are you are the living God. I ask you, Lord, ask you for your God. light to be revealed. Light light to be revealed. For me to look upward me to look and forward. forward. I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord for, forgetting for forgetting about eternity. eternity. I'm sorry, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord for, living here for living here without here. thinking about eternity. Without I want to invest, oh Lord, invest, the things of heaven, O oh Lord Jesus, heaven, oh Lord. so that I can do maximum here on earth. I, can do maximum here. I want to live here, want to live knowing, here. That knowing that I am coming to you, Lord. To you, Lord. I, will, I want to live here, I want to live here. Understanding, understanding the meaning of heaven. The meaning of heaven. I, want to live here, I want to live here, knowing that knowing this, is a, this is a temporary journey, Lord. A temporary home. Temporary by home. My home is in heaven. And my home is in heaven. Prepare, Lord. Prepare. I am ready, Lord. Trim me, Lord. Trim me, Lord. So that I can be more fruitful for you while I live here on earth. I refuse to complain. I forget the things that lies behind. For you said you will do something new for me, Lord. I confess, Lord, for the times I was only speaking about things past. But I ask you, Lord, forgiveness. You, Lord, forgiveness. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse, cleanse, my, cleanse my will. Cleanse my, cleanse my, cleanse my mind. Cleanse my, my, thoughts my thoughts with your precious blood. With your precious blood. Cause, me to forget Cause me to forget my toil, Lord, my toil, that I can be doubly fruitful. I, be doubly fruitful. I renounce sin. I renounce, I renounce Satan. Satan. I renounce the world. Renounce the world. Jesus, be my only Lord and be Savior.
Anoint me with your light. Anoint me with your light. Help me to shine forth Help me to shine for forth. the glory of Jesus Christ. Glory of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Amen. 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 Lift your hands tonight. Lift your hands. Ask the Lord to do something new tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. healing somebody with stomach stomach pain uh, un, un, unbearable pain in your stomach the Lord is healing tonight hallelujah thank you Jesus 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 receive your healings tonight even as you're worshiping the Lord as you're surrendering your lives tonight Lord is healing. 
Somebody is waiting. Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Hallelujah. Is, is upset about the doctor's report. The Lord is giving you the grace tonight to believe God's report. God's report. God's report. I feel a strong presence coming upon Hallelujah upon your life tonight. Believe in the God's report tonight. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Hallelujah, Lord. Let there be a supernatural reverse tonight on the doctor's report in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you hold the bread in our hands, Bible says, For I received from the Lord, which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in memory of me. Lord Jesus, as we hold the bread in our hands, we thank you for the finished work of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the sacrificial death on the cross. We thank you, Jesus, Lord, you died that we look above and we'll move forward. As we partake of this bread, let the light shine above and light shine ahead in the name of Jesus, Lord. Help us to move forward, Lord. Let the three times strength and anointing be revealed in the inside of us. Let the leadership and anointings be revealed in the inside of us. Let wholeness and life be released in the inside of us. Let depression and stagnation leave our lives tonight. Let there be Holy Spirit, divine compulsion to move forward. Be stirred up in the inside of us. Bless this bread. Amen. Bless our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's partake of it together. I come by the blood. I come by the cross where your mercy flows from hot spears for me. For I dare not stand on my righteousness. My every hope rests on what Christ has done. I come by the blood. I come by the blood. I come by the cross where your mercy flows from hands pierced for me. For I dare not stand on my righteousness. My every hope rests on what Christ has done. I come by the blood. Manner. He also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As we hold the cup in our hands, may your blood, may your sacrificial blood speak a better word over our lives tonight. Help us to be, Lord, hammered gold that is useful for you tonight. Amen. Trim, Lord, those areas that is dead and that's not working. Trim it up from our lives so that we'll burn again will burn for you, will be hammered gold, will be precious. The preciousness of our faith, of our calling will be revealed. Our valueness shall come forth. Amen. Hallelujah, Gartali. We surrender our lives today, Lord, our family. May your blood speak a better word. Protect us and cover us Hallelujah. with your precious blood tonight. Bless this cup Amen. and bless our life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's partake of it together tonight. But as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Amen. This is our hope. Our Jesus Christ will come back for His church, for His bride. We are the bride of Christ. Open your mouth and say, We are Amen. the bride of Christ. And thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. May eyes be upward this morning. In the name of Jesus. May your light shine in the darkness. May our church upward, Lord, and forward. Take them. Hallelujah. Let them step in into the light of God's presence tonight. Rise up. Shine for your glory, Lord. I come in the church into your hands, Lord. I declare them as your bride, your church. And you said, Your church you will build. 
and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it you and the sabaya padi paadala gobaragal avare bey cheykathilla artave let the church move forward in the name of jesus tonight hallelujah let the direction let the lord's light shine tonight hallelujah lord in the name of jesus lord i come in the church into your hands and i bless them i bless them in the name of the father in the name of our lord jesus christ in the name of the holy spirit let them rise and shine Amen. tonight for the lord's light has yes, come lord. into your hands i come it once again lord mm. bless them and keep them tonight yes lord may your face shine upon them hallelujah may your countenance be lifted towards them may you be gracious unto them hallelujah. may your shalom wholeness and peace amen rest over them Amen. I bless them in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. I will see you next week till that time. Hallelujah. Shalom. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you pastor for sharing this wonderful word today. As we end the service, we would like to make few announcements. We have intercessions throughout the week and anyone who would like to join us for the same and fast and pray for pastor and his family. and the church or to be a part of a castle meeting please contact the number on the screen in the book genesis chapter 14 verses from 19 to 20 says and he blessed him and said blessed be abram a god of most high possessor of heaven and earth and be blessed be god most high who has delivered your enemies into your hands and he gave him a tithe of all for those who would like to tithe in accordance with god the account details are mentioned in our website when we started sharing our part of tithe into the lord's house we have seen the lord blessing us the overflowing blessing of the lord amen our store houses and our bins have no lack amen. amen if you have any prayer request you may call or email us the details are mentioned on the screen for those who are celebrating your birthdays and anniversaries Pastor has released a word over your lives. Isaiah chapter 10:27. It shall come to pass in this day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. The yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Amen. May the Lord anoint you with fresh oil. May you have an experience of an anointed life where you have every burden be lifted up. and every yoke will be destroyed Amen. happy birthday and happy anniversary until, until next, next week, week stay, stay blessed, blessed.